in the words of proclus where there is number there is beauty now let us know plotting the given points and graph sheet what is graph sheet on a paper on a sheet we draw some horizontal lines enter the paper by spacing 1 cm or 1 inch and we draw vertical lines vertical lines by giving the space 1 cm or 1 inch three horizontal lines if we give the 1 cm spacing and vertical lines also 1 cm if to the horizontal lines if it is given 1 cm 1 inch a space the vertical lines also should give one inch space generally we use centimeter space to to the horizontal lines and to the vertical lines also on this graph sheet we draw horizontal reference line and vertical reference lines we draw two mutually perpendicular lines generally we take horizontal line at the middle on this thick line and one vertical line generally we take it the middle angle between this horizontal line and vertical line is 90 degree we call intersecting point of this horizontal reference line and vertical reference line as origin in the coordinate system this horizontal reference line x o x dash o x is called as x axis and this vertical reference line y o y dash is called as y axis intersecting point of x axis and y axis is called as origin o first of all to plot the points on this graph sheet we need to write scale at the right side top on x axis on x axis generally we take 1 cm is equal to 1 unit we take the generally we take scale on x axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit or 2 units or 5 units or 10 or 50 or 100 or 1000 right here if it is 1 cm here 1 2 Three. These points marked as one, two, three, four, five, and so on. To the right side, towards OX, along OX dash, mark the points negative minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. If the scale is taken one way, if scale is one centimeter is equal to Two units. Then we need to take two 
2 plus 2 4, 4 plus 2 6, 6 plus 2 8 and so on. At the left side, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8. In this manner, we take if the scale is 5 units, in the scale is 5 units, we change, we take these, uh, we mark these uh, points as 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 5, 20, 20 plus 5, 25, and so on. On the left, minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20, and minus 25, and so on. On y axis also, on y axis, on y axis, I am taking 1 centimeter is equal to 5 units. If I take y axis also on 5 units, then we can mark the uh, upward positive or downward negative. Generally, here we mark those points with multiples of 5. 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 5, 20. Downward negative numbers, minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20. If the scale is taken, 5 units, 1 centimeter is equal to 5 units. Now I am taking just only on x axis 1 cm equal to 1 unit and 1 cm equal to 1 unit on y axis also. Uh, I am taking here on x axis 1 cm equal to 1 unit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At O the value is 0 all the time. Here as I took 1 cm. Uh, 1 cm is equal to 1 unit. So that let me mark these as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and so on. Upward on y axis also, I took 1 cm is equal to 1 unit. Scale is taken, 1 cm is equal to 1 unit. So that let us mark the points along y axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Downward, downwards, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and so on. Like this, uh, we can mark the points on x axis and y axis. Along OX, we took positive numbers, so that OX is called positive x axis. Along OX dash, we took, we mark negative numbers, so that OX dash is called negative y axis. OY is called positive y axis, as upward, we mark positive numbers. OY dash is called negative y axis, O y is positive y axis, O y dash is negative y axis as we mark negative numbers here on O y dash. Here these are horizontal reference line and vertical reference line divides this plane into four quadrants. It is the first quadrant Q1 the second quadrant Q, the third quadrant Q3, and the fourth quadrant Q4. There are no common points to Q1 and Q2, Q2 and Q3, Q3 and Q4, Q4 and Q1, Q1 and Q3, or Q2 and Q4. There are no common points. Now let us plot some points on this graph sheet. Generally, on this graph sheet, not only these thick lines, there are some other lines are there. 
generally in at each centimeter at each centimeter there are 10 divisions there are 10 divisions each point each point represents a number after 0 0 to 1 as we made 10 divisions 0 after 2 point 0, 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 there is a slight thick line there that is 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 and 1 point uh, vertical lines we draw vertical lines to each millimeter and here on y axis also between 0 and 1 this along this 1 centimeter we draw horizontal lines at each millimeter 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 here at each millimeter the points represent 0 after 0 0.1 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 1.0. So, along its axis, 0 to 1, there are 10 squares. Along the y axis, 0 to 1, there are 10 squares. So, at each millimeter we can count there is a square so it is a millimeter millimeter graph at each grid at each grid there are the square millimeters at each grid there are square millimeters in in every grid we draw these lines so that we can e easily find out the points with the coordinates, rational coordinates. Here, let us plot, plot some points to five comma two. Let me plot a point five comma two. I'm going to plot a point. Order by 5 2. It is uh, x coordinate is uh, plus 5, y coordinate is plus 2. x coordinate is plus 5 as it is the positive. Start from O. Move along as 5 is positive. Move along positive x axis. Move along positive x axis to 5 units. Let me take that point as uh, T. After reaching the point T, if y coordinate is positive, move, move vertical up vertically. If uh, second coordinate is positive, upward, and move vertical to downward if second coordinate is negative. As 2 is second coordinate, 2 is positive. Move towards the line parallel to y axis. Move vertically 1, 2, 2 units. First of all, I'll, I move to 5 units towards OX as 5 is positive. First coordinate 5 is positive. Then 2 units towards vertically upward stay there the point arrived finally the point finally we reach that, that is the destination point that is nothing but A5 comma 2 it is uh, P A is uh, 2 units it is way of getting 
destination point to reach the to know the position of the point five to at the five to move five units towards x axis then move vertically two units as two is positive move upward if y coordinate is negative we need to move downward that is five five two now let us know the position of the point minus four comma three b minus let us plot the point minus four comma three as first coordinate five is positive we move the distance towards the positive x axis as first coordinate minus four is negative starting from o move towards negative x axis to four units 1 1 2 3 4 after that let me take this point as q let me take this point as q after moving four units towards oax as first coordinate is minus 4 move along negative x axis oax dash let us say the point we reach as q Then move vertically. Whether we need to move upward or downward. If if the second coordinate is positive, move upward. If the second coordinate is negative, move downward. What is the second coordinate here? Three. Three means plus three. Plus three. So as second coordinate is positive, move upward. One, two, three. Three units. Let me take this point as B. Uh, Minus four three, minus four three. Otherwise, otherwise, to mark the point five two at five, draw a vertical line. At five, draw a vertical line. And at a two on y axis, at two on y axis, draw a horizontal line. The point where those two lines intersect is A five. To mark the point, to know the point A five two on plot sheet, draw a vertical line at five. Draw a vertical line. Draw a vertical line at five. And draw a horizontal line to name the intersecting point of this vertical line and horizontal line as A five. In the same manner, to know the position of minus four three, draw the vertical line at minus four on x-axis as minus four is the x-coordinate. As three is the y coordinate on y axis, and three draw a horizontal horizontal line. The point where this this vertical line, the intersecting point of this vertical line, horizontal line, you see B minus four comma three. Now let us know the position of the point. Four comma minus two. Four comma minus two. C. Four comma minus two. Here x coordinate is four. X coordinate is four. There is plus four positive. Starting from O. Move four units. Move four units along x axis. Move the move the distance four units. Let me name this point as R. At R, uh, to know the position of the point four minus two, we need to move vertically. Whether it is upward or downward, let us check it out. As y coordinate is minus two, negative number, we need to move downward. 
if y coordinate is positive, move upward. As minus 2 is negative, move downward to 2 units. Minus 1, minus 2. So, 2 units. The destination point is a C. The destination point is C. Uh, minus 4, comma, minus 2. Now, let us see the position of the point minus 5, comma, minus 3. D minus 5, comma, minus 3. Minus x coordinate. The first x coordinate is minus 5, y coordinate is minus 3. So that starting from O, origin O. As minus 5 is negative, move to the distance along the negative x axis 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. Let me name this point as a yes at S. We need to move vertically. If the second coordinate, y coordinate is positive, move upward. If y coordinate is negative, move downward. So here, second coordinate is a minus 3. As minus 3, there is a negative quantity. We need to move downward vertically. Move vertically downward. That is a minus 3 units. 1, 2, 3. Here the point that is a minus 5, 1, 1, minus 3. That is a D, minus 5, 1, 1, minus 3. It is a procedure to plot the given points on coordinate plane. Let us know algorithm to plot the given point on a graph sheet. Let us see, let me take the point A, not the A. Here, first of all, on graph sheet, approximately at the middle, we draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. We mark the intersecting point of uh, these mutually perpendicular lines as origin O. We mark x dash O x as x axis. Vertical line y dash O y as y axis. On the right side top, we write scale, suitable scale on x axis and also on y axis. According to the scale we mentioned at this top, we mark the points on x axis and also on y axis according to the given scale. To plot a point AB, First coordinate A, whether we need to check whether it is positive or not. If it is positive, move, move A units, move A units along x axis, along x axis, move A units. Whether it is if B is positive or negative. If B is positive, move vertically, move vertically the point it is a B units. The destination point is the point AB. Here, first of all, A units towards x axis if A if is positive. Then, if B is positive, move upward vertical to vertical line. 
vertically the destination point is uh, represents the order pair a b if b is negative after reaching this point after reaching a units vertically move downwards uh, uh, b units move downwards b units the destination points represents a b here a greater than 0 and b greater than 0 a is positive and b is positive here a is greater than 0 and b is less than 0 b is negative if a is positive or b is positive then the point is in first quadrant if a is positive and b is negative a is positive and b is negative then the point lies in uh, fourth quadrant q4 a is positive or b is negative if a is negative then what happens we need to move we need to move a units towards negative x axis uh, here we need to move a units towards negative x axis then we need to turn vertical we will get a doubt whether we need to move upward or to downward here a is negative so that we move along the negative x axis if b also negative if b also negative then we need to move downward if b is positive if b is positive move upward the destination point represents ab if a is negative and b is positive a is than 0 and b greater than 0 a is less than 0 a negative and if b also negative then after moving the distance a units towards negative x axis uh, move downward vertically along the vertical line b units b units the destination point is ab if a is less than 0 and b is less than 0 so if a is positive and b is positive then the point is in first quadrant if a is negative and b is positive then the point is in second quadrant if a is negative and b also negative then the point is in third quadrant if a is positive and b is negative then the point lies in fourth quadrant in this way for any real coordinates for any real coordinates we can show the point on a graph sheet